Hi guys, Andy here with Matches Productions. After talking with several of you online, I've decided to go ahead and do a vlog on the bug out bag, which you can see behind me. I am currently in Japan, so some of the items that I normally keep in my bug out bag are not in there. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that as I go through. Coming up next, what do I have inside my bag? You're about to find out. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Okay, so the bag that I use is a Camelback. Um, this particular model, I don't remember which one it is, but uh, they don't make it anymore. Anyway, as you'll see on the top, I've got my uh, my carabiners, my snap links, um, quite a few uh, all around the bag. I'll show you here on the top and on the sides. The reason I have so many of the, the carabiners and the snap links is what I didn't show you in the video is a... Um, Repel line that I bring with me. It's a it's a 150 foot uh, repel line, and I usually just um, either strap it onto the bag itself or I uh, um, tie it into a, a modified backpack. So the side pouches go with the external pouches first, and this particular side pouch here. Uh, some of you asked about medical gear, so what I carry is some uh, quick clot and some other bandages. Uh, you can get that from North American Rescue. Uh, navigation purposes I have a GPS I'll show you later we carry extra batteries I've got a compass for if the GPS fails um, and then the uh, external pouch to the bag I've got a water bottle here with a filter so it, it boasts about a hundred I think a hundred uses of filtering before you have to replace the filter and yes the filter is replaceable needle decompression now I don't recommend this for some people unless you're medically trained to do so uh, I've got a fishing reel here that goes with the collapsible fishing pole that's inside of the bag. But we'll get to that here shortly. Moving on to the other side here, uh, I'm going to actually open up the other external pouch here. This area is empty, you know, I can put whatever I need to in there. Uh, in the extra pouch here, this is the GPS, it's a Garmin. I use that, uh, try not to rely on that. That's why we have the compass. Inside here we got our knife sharpening kit. Uh, it's a Smith's Precision. So we have three stones. You have uh, you have your coarse, your, your medium, and your fine sharpening edge stones there for your blades. Here I do not condone this. I am not endorsing this. However, this is a lock picking kit. Um, take it for whatever you will. Now, the main, or not main, but the uh, lower outside external pouch here. Again, I've got some more medical gear in here. Very, very light medical gear. Um, I've got some moleskin here. For those of you who have ever hiked with boots, moleskin is your best friend. Uh, this helps with, um, doesn't help so much prevent blisters, although it can. Uh, I've got a um, tourniquet here, combat applied tourniquet, cat tourniquet, and duct tape. You can never use too much duct tape here. Next pouch uh, here is getting in some other gear. I've got some more bandages. Again, if you are interested in any of these, you can go online and get them through North American Rescue Company. Six inch bandage here and then a, um, a smaller battle dressing. Got some Curlex gauze. Uh, also, I have uh, some petroleum gauze, good for burns or whatnot. Um, Curlex gauze here wraps around. I don't have a whole lot of uh, medical gear. This here is some tripwire. Uh, you can use this for a lot of things. You can use your imagination. Again, more batteries. Um, a little multi purpose tool here. We've got a compass, a whistle, and a thermometer. And then also inside, you have a mirror, signal mirror, and a magnifying glass. You could use a magnifying glass to hopefully start a fire if you had to. Backup whistle. Now, uh, one of my main pouches. This is where I was referring to earlier that I'm in Japan. Um, so some of the gear that I, I don't normally carry is not here, or that I carry is not here. This is a balaclava, so when it gets cold, um, or whatever. And then this here is the holster. This is a serpa holster for the 
the Glock that I normally carry if I were to um, if I were to need it. And again, you can see it, it's gotten some use. Um, it's got the lanyard, secure it to your belt, to your body. Last thing you want to do is have a pistol and lose it. And then I also will keep some spare ammo in there as well when not in Japan. All right, so the smaller outer pouch here, opening it up. First thing you see is my little field expedient hammock. Comes in handy, you want to lay up off of the ground. You don't want the bugs or critters to get to you. I've got, here's the harness. Um, so this harness is new. I haven't actually used this harness yet, but it's a climbing slash repelling harness. And this pouch here is where I usually keep my knife, but again, Japan has certain laws, so I don't have it with me, it's in storage. I've got my repelling uh, slash utility gloves. Always, always keep that handy. And of course the MRE spoon. You never know when you're gonna need a spoon. So in the next pouch here that I'm about to pull out, we've got some, some web runner. Uh, web runner is good for tying things off. Uh, you can always make like field expedient um, repelling seats out of this stuff or it's just really strong. Uh, multi-uses and of course a field stripped MRE normally I have two in here I don't know where the other one went I think maybe uh, maybe the wife or kids got to it but I've got some pre-cut um, web runner here and I've got that pre-cut and it's set up pretty good for um, retrievable um, anchors for repelling moving along to the big pouch here quite a few things in here first pouch here I've got a bunch of 550 cord uh, you can never ever have too much 550 cord the uses are uh, limitless so I probably got about I don't know two three hundred feet of the stuff here easily and then I've got a uh, survival fishing kit so again you know we're not commercial fishermen here but this is uh, in the event that we would have to fish for for food um, moving right along here I've got the pistol cleaning kit here uh, I know it says 45 uh, on the outside and I said I have a Glock 19 that I use however I've got uh, brushes in there for that 9 millimeter Glock got some um, some latex gloves here exam gloves you never know and uh, binos a small pair of binos they come in handy if you gotta do a sneaky peek or uh, recon an area. I've got another sharpening stone, again a backup uh, to the others. This is more of a uh, rougher version, if you will, but it's still uh, it's a great piece of gear to have. All right, in my waterproof, watertight box here, I have several uh, necessities. So we'll open that up. First thing is a uh, the light and I do have some spare batteries in there as well very important piece of gear a hurricane candle comes in handy and this is actually dryer lint believe it or not this is great for fire starter water purification tablets extra batteries for the flashlight as I discussed earlier a multi-purpose tool invaluable some wet fire in case we're having trouble with the fire. Some magnesium strips, again, fire starter material. Various pencils and marker pens. Some waterproof matches. Gotta have that fire when you're out there. A Emerson CQC combat foldable, which will come in handy. A water resistant notebook. Tactical signal mirror for um, rescue purposes. And then I've got my old Boy Scout mess kit. Very good piece of gear. E-tool. And no survivalist can go without this piece of gear here. This is your SAS survival handbook. Highly recommend it. Here's the collapsible fishing pole that I mentioned earlier. A file for the magnesium strips. It makes things much easier, trust me. 
And then, last but not least, my little binky, my little survival blanket. So, it's a poncho liner, military poncho liner. Those that have used this know exactly what I'm talking about. This thing is incredibly surprisingly warm. So that's pretty much it. The nice thing about bug out bags is that you customize them to your needs. So what I have fits my needs perfectly, but that may not be what you need for your uh, sustainment. Every piece of gear in my bag that I have, I have actually used with the exception of my rappel harness, my climbing harness, and that's because it's brand new. The old one I had was getting a little bit worn out and I had to get rid of it. So this one is brand new and hopefully in the next month or so I'll give it a, give it a trial run. But um, anyway guys, hey, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them down below. Um, if you thought this video was great, give it, a, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, subscribe please. Let me know what else you'd like to see and we'll bring it to you. Again, thanks for watching.